Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website, it's definitely better to use the website building platforms. And today in this video, I want to show you one of the most powerful tools to make your website and landing page go live very and very fast, easy and without an extra effort. Uh, before I've started to show you all the things, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can get access to this platform straight from this video. You need to find that link in the description panel and jump straight to platform. And um, one more thing, I don't want to make this video like two hours long tutorial of how to build your landing page. Mm, I think the time is the most precious thing in the world and that's why I respect your time uh, and I want to make this video as short as possible with the maximum value to give you all the tools that you'll need to use to build your own landing page. So first of all, you need to find the link in the description, jump to platform and press the start a free trial. After you press the start a free trial, the platform will ask you to choose a plan and there's standard, pro and advanced and it's up to you, it's up to your business, uh, the size of your business and your business plans actually now so it's up to you as i said but you have 14 day trial version that will give you uh, enough space to create everything that you want and in this video i want to show you how to create your landing page very very fast so let's jump in straight to the dashboard of the platform that how it looks from inside and you need to press the create new landing page or in case if you want to build a website the site and you'll jump to the um, to the page with a lot of different templates already pre-made and you can sort them by conversion rate by most popular newest page type industry what's interesting and style and color uh, so for for example just to show you uh, the editing features they're pretty the same uh, i'm gonna start building just any template just to show you because they're pretty the same uh, and you can actually make that happen very and very fast and easy okay so this is uh, the editor and um, everything is pretty simple here and i will show you all the things layout sections widget styles and settings actually any landing page or website built with the sections so we jump into layout and you see that there's only two of them hero and footer if for example you need more sections you need more information to add you can find a lot of things a lot of templates of sections that you can use and you can drag and drop them to any spot that you want uh, just drag and drop and if you didn't found the block that you need you can use the blank sections like this one and you see the drop here alrighty so now we see that we have a footer higher than the section we're going to lay out how to move them just grabbing this one and moving it to the order that you want and that's pretty it so we don't need all those i've just showed you how to how to manage that just deleting all the things okay footer blank and uh and the main page the hero when you're hovering over the picture you see all those blue boxes yeah every editing things you can switch with this pencil button and you can find this pencil button on each uh, element except the spacer okay and that's pretty cool uh, how to edit actually the elements you go into widgets and you see a lot of them but you need to press show less or maybe uh, you can use other ones but text image and text image video button form line and space this is everything that you will use actually to build a simple landing page without a countdown, without a, um, inserting like HTML code or, um, or other things, those eight is pretty enough. So how to make that happen? For example, I want the video to be here and I want to button, uh, I want the button to be here. Just drag and drop, that's pretty simple. 
Now, I want this button to be uh, like in the center. I'm grabbing a spacer and drop it in here. And you see the result. And there's also divider. Uh, you saw that we had two columns and you can move this divider and you see the elements are reshaping itself. And that's pretty awesome. That's just cool uh, and fast and very, very easy. You can edit the section itself. To make that happen, you need to press the three dots button and you can go to edit section settings, add section above or below, duplicate, copy or delete. Let's go to edit section settings. You see there's, a, there's an image. Uh, you can choose automatically shaped uh, section 50%, 75%, 90% and full. Let it be full and let's change an image. You can use the images that you uploaded previously. You can use the premium images. You can buy them straight from the platform uh, and it's eight bucks per picture or you can upload it straight from your computer and that's what I'm going to do right now. Let it be the pizza. It's tasty, it's cool and it's coming soon. For example, you opening a pizza house and you just need to create a website uh, that will get new customers for updates for subscribe and want to get updates about when we launch subscribe for updates okay uh, I will I want to show you one in okay I want to show you one interesting thing about that if you need you can apply image color overlay so you see the picture is pretty uh, pretty light and the color of the text is light and we need to um, we need to add image color overlay. Let it be the maybe the gray one. And we change in the opacity. And look what's happening. The pizza is still there, and the text is now readable, and everything is pretty great. Okay. I showed you this one, and and you see that there's a gray background and it's not the background of this section so we're gonna go to styles you see the styles page background and there's the color if we're gonna switch it off you see that everything is white you can apply an image uh, and this image will be used uh, with a parallax effect and that's also very cool uh, or you can use some color you can use some color to uh, make that colorful, to make that section be colorful. That's pretty it with the uh, styles. One more thing that you can change the font styles for uh, entire page. If you have a long layout, if you have a lot of things to, uh, to show uh, and to say to your customers, it's very, uh, it's very fast and easy to change all the fonts for entire page for all the headlines and all the text fonts entire from for entire page straight from here with a couple clicks and that's that's amazing uh, so we go into settings and after that I'll show you the most important part of this video the most important thing that you need to take care of SEO definitely you need your website to be visible to search engine machines uh, if not, you need to switch this. I don't want search engine to index this page. You need to switch on this flag. So please type all your page title, all your description and all your keywords on that spot. So if you want to share your uh, website to some Facebook or other um, uh, social media, you need to choose an image. Um, because uh, in, if you will not handle that question, it will be displayed like that. And it's pretty rubbish. Analytics, definitely, if you're running a business or you're starting a business, uh, you need to take care about the analytical information. And it's going to be straight here if you will um, switch on the Google Analytics tracking ID here. Language is pretty understandable, safe and close. The main purpose of any landing page is to get contact information from your visitors uh, and after that bring them to your clients. 
So you see the buttons and forms, all the uh, editing features uh, like about the style, you can make it full width, you can make it square, rounded, or you can make it lined. I like the shape, square and no, rounded. A little bit, yeah, like that. Or circular, yeah, everything is like pretty cool, yeah? Subscribe for updates, you see that. But the main thing is the click event. What's gonna happen when somebody will press the button? It's gonna be a pop-up, it's gonna be Calendly pop-up, jump to a page section, link to a landing page, or link to an external URL. We're gonna edit the pop-up, or we can create a new, but we're gonna edit the pop-up that we have here. So, uh, you have a new section, actually, the section of the pop-up, and you can edit all the things here with the edit section settings. But the main thing is actually those integrations. So you need to press edit integrations and you jump in here uh, to edit your form. Integrations, how you're going to get a lead notification um, the way. Yeah, the way is to get it to your email or it's very cool. You can integrate external services of email marketing like ConvertKit, MailChimp, GetResponse, ActiveCampaign. Go to webinar, drip, and then and, and that's cool. If you know nothing about them, you definitely need to find out more because uh, those are very powerful tools of email marketing and it will help you to grow your business fast. Uh, or if you, for example, don't want to buy uh, account on, on one of those, you can integrate everything with a Zapier and like Google Sheets, for example. You can integrate uh, everything with a Google Sheets and all the leads will be there. So, uh, it's pretty enough to get notifications to your uh, email, but if you have mm, uh, a lot of incoming um, leads, definitely you need to handle with them, and, and like it's better to use the CRM system, uh, and just, you need, to, you need to think about that. Fields. You can add a field, you see there's only email, but I want to know the first name. With this arrows, you can move things around. Uh, and you have options to choose more like phone number, but I suggest you not to make um, more than two fields, because people are lazy actually, and they don't want to fulfill all those um, all those fields because it takes too long. And actions. What's gonna happen when somebody will uh, subscribe to your list? What's gonna happen? It's gonna be default lead pages thank you page uh, or landing page. You can build external uh, landing page uh, to say thank you to the people who um, who like subscribed. External URL remain on page. External URL can be handy with um, with the e-commerce when you upselling something, um, and you can add a lead magnet if you promised to your audience that uh, you will send them some kind of file like PDF with a checklist or some valuable information. Uh, you can add it straight here, and that's pretty it, guys. That's pretty it. Everything is totally customizable. Uh, you have enough tools to play with um, and I will not tell you how to describe your business because nobody except you can describe your business better uh, and this platform allows you to m to make that really fast, easy and without an extra effort. Um, I want to remind you that we left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get that link and get access to this platform. Um, so find that link, press that link, start your free trial, and try to build your own future. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was useful. Uh, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.